Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my level 150 arcane build using reverse of blood. This is a katana that skill primary with strength, dexterity, and arcane, and it also has fire element in it and cause, can cause blood loss build up. And actually, this one is one of my favorite weapon in the game. It has corpse pillar weapon skill. This one. It's just like a double slash, but it has more longer range so for this weapon i will create two type of build the first is the offensive build to maximize the damage output from this weapon and the second one is defensive build for survivability and for the offensive build i like to wear white mask combined with lord of blood exploitation to give me up to 30 percent damage buff when i performing sepuku as of war and for armor, I like to wear Raksasa armor set to give me up to 6% damage. And for Talisman, I like to use Shard of Alexander to increase my attack power of skill by 15%. And I have Rotten Wing Sword Insignia and also Militian Prothesis to increase my successive attack. For Crystal Tears, I like to use Thorny Cracker Tear to increase my successive attack and also Blood Sucking Cracker Tear to temporarily increase my attack power up to 20%. And for status, I like to invest more in Arcane and also Dexterity. Basically, Arcane is my main attribute to increase my blood loss build up, and Dexterity is my secondary attribute to increase my attack power. And for Incantation, I like to cast Golden Vow and Flame Grammy Strength. The way this build works is first I consume my Crystal Tears, cast Golden Vow, and Flame Grammy Strength. Okay, let's test this build. Ooh, that was awesome. But it's still impressive. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Let's go. Um. And now for the defensive build, I still use the same attribute like before. 
and I change my armor to white red armor to give me a medium protection. I like this one because of the style, just like a samurai. However, you can wear anything you want as long it's not too heavy to wear. And for talisman, I still use Lord of Blood Exculpation, Shard of Alexander, and also Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. And I changed my Militian Prosthesis to Dragon Crest Great Seal to increase my physical damage negation up to 20%. And for Crystal Tears, I like to use Green Bruce Crystal Tears to increase my stamina recovery speed. Another one is Tony Cracker Tear to increase my successive attack. And for the incantation, I still use Flame Green Strength and also Golden Vow incantation. So the way this build work is first I consume my Crystal Tears, cast Golden Vow, and Flame Green Strength. So let's get started. Yeah, this weapon skill consumes a lot of FP and also stamina. there okay nice not bad Yes. 
Okay, let's go. Nice. Is everyone is still good though. 